find the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over the quantity s minus 1 to the fourth power. Solution. So we're going to use the shifting theorem in this problem. So how do you do that? Well, you rewrite the inverse Laplace, and we want to shift this. We want this to be an s. So you write it as 1 over s to the fourth. Then you write a line, and then s gets replaced with s minus 1. So we shift. Okay. This is called the first translation theorem. Okay, so you're allowed to do that, right? All we've done is replace s with s minus 1. Now, whenever we do that, uh, it's going to produce something. But before we get to that, now we just have to take the inverse Laplace of this. So here we need a 3 factorial. Why? Because if you have the inverse Laplace of n factorial over s to the m plus 1, that's equal to t to the n. So you have to have one less up top. So what we'll do is we'll put the 3 factorial there. Okay, you can just do that. You can just put it there. But if you put it there, you've got to take it away. So I'll put it down here. Boom. And then here we have s to s minus 1. Okay. You can always do that, right? That's, that's the main idea. That's mainly how you do these. Now it fits the form up here, right? So 3 factorial is 6. So we get 1 over 6. This becomes a t cubed, this whole thing here. And then what about that shift we performed? Well, we shifted s to s minus 1. That's going to give us an e to the t. It's really 1t. So if you shift s to s minus a, it produces an e to the at at the end. So this shift gave us this e here. And that's the final answer.